this is not going to be very long. What I'm going to do, just so you're aware of this, is mm -hmm. I'm going to quickly go over that pretest, even if you've looked at it already. And I'm going to show you very quickly pretty much what I'm looking at or looking for when you run it. Um, and then what I'm going to do is that's going to be it for the whole period. I'm going to go over the pretest tomorrow. The rest of the period will be lab, and we're going to push the test off from Wednesday to Thursday. And okay. we're just doing that because you know, I want to make sure that everybody can understand this pretest because this pretest is very similar to one of the problems. So if you if you went through you know in, in class when we went through the other array problem. And if you can understand that one and you can understand this one, there's no reason you shouldn't do very well on the test. All right. So All right. let me let me see here. So now am I right in assuming you can all see the pretest on your screen right now? Yes. Okay. Uh it's right. loading for me. Right now it's a it's a black screen. I'm not can you actually yeah. hear me? Yeah. I can hear you. It's yes. a black screen for me. All right. Can you hear yeah, me? Yeah, it's also a black screen for me. All right. Well, let's see. I'll tell you what, I'll stop the share and start it again. Uh, did that help? Yes. Yes. Yes, there it is. All right. So this right here, this is my copy. This is my, my program right here. But what's up here is basically the same thing that you have. You know, I just copy the comments in. So again, as it says here, create a console application. The name isn't really that important. You're not turning this in. The application, as it says, <laughs> should have five parallel arrays. <clears throat> so you should have an array for what first names which would be a string last names which would be a string uh miles driven which would be a double gallons used which would be a double and mpg which would be a double now hopefully that makes sense now, i've got to i got to switch back because if that's one of if that's somebody trying to join it's not going to let let me let them join until i go back in here so give me a break <clears throat> all right, so uh, hopefully we're all right here. I am taping this. I'll clean up the tape so it's just got this stuff in it. But the point is this. If you look at the stuff that's right here, all right, I'll even show you the beginning of my program. This is, this is what I did. You want to take a screenshot with your phone or whatever, that's fine. And if you think, no, I, I get it, that's also fine. So there's going to be, you're going to have six, basically six uh, miles per gallons that you're going to read in. Each one of those, will there'll be six first names, six last names, six miles driven, six gallons used, and you'll figure out six MPGs. So that's what these are right here. In addition, you're supposed to set up a minimum miles, minimum gallons, maximum miles, and maximum gallons. So those are here. All right. I also set it up so that if you didn't provide a first name, I just defaulted it to no first name provided. If you didn't put in a last name, I defaulted it to no last name provided. All right. And then the other variables that I have in here are these. The miles per gallon. Again, there'll be six of them. But the lowest and the highest, there will only be one of each. And notice I, notice I made lowest 1,001. What we said in here was the most miles that you could drive would be a would be a thousand. Anything else above that would be uh, would be out of range. We also said the minimum gallons was one. Anything lower than that would be out of range. So a thousand divided by one would be a thousand. So to say that the lowest is equal to one thousand and one will assure us that the first time we enter in a value, it will become the lowest. And putting a negative one in here will also assure us that it 
The first one we put in will be the highest. I also, as it says in here, all right, so use those constants. I just went over them with you, so I don't think we'll have to again. But when you look in here, as it says, validate that the first name and last name are not blank. That's the only validation on those two fields that you have to do. If they are blank, throw an argument exception. All right. On the other hand, with miles driven and with gallons used, force the user to put it within range. In other words, I don't want you to use, I don't want you to use exception handling. You can force them by using an if statement, or maybe even you'll have to use a loop to do that. All right. But I want you to, you know, there'll be this is the same way that the test is set up. There'll be no exception handling on the numeric things on the test either. All right, then as it says, keep track of the low and the high and main should be a driver. In other words, there's my main. So what is it doing? It's saying input first name and it sets it to the current first name. Input last name and it sets it to the current last name. Input miles driven, it sets it to the current miles driven. Input gallons used, it sets it to the current balance, gal or no, no, no. Uh, gallons used and calculate MPG. So when you look, I do not have any variables that I've declared inside of main. All right, everything that I declared, I made global. Maybe that's not the best way to do this, but that's the way that I did it. All right, so again, what I'll want is for you to sit there and write this and write this, write this, write this, write this, and then have some kind of a thing where you print everything out when you're all done. So if you try doing this on your own, I'd appreciate that. But what we will do tomorrow morning is from eight o'clock until about nine o'clock in the morning, <clears throat> we will go over my copy of this. All right. But if again, if you can do the last problem that we went over as a class the other day, and you can do this one, you should be more than set for the test. And again, the test will be on Thursday instead of Wednesday. Any questions? Nope. Nope, no questions. All right. Because that's, like I said, that's all I had. I didn't want to keep you any longer than that. I'm doing the same thing with my afternoon class. Rather, because I was going to lecture in there today. But I, instead of lecturing, I'm just going to tell them what we're going to be talking about tomorrow. But so again, the test will be Thursday. And that will mean that Friday, we will go over chapters 9, 10, and 11. Sort of gets us behind a day, but I'm not really worried about that. All right. If there are no, are no other questions, I'll see you all tomorrow. Okay. All right. See ya. See ya.